Hello and welcome to BC News Score Report. Hampshire Cricket Club have changed their name of the ground to the GS Bowl. They have also announced that they are going to invest £45 million into the ground for modifications and to building a new hotel. Here are some opinions of this. Yeah, at GS Bowl. I was thinking it's a good idea really to change its name. Even though I do like the name the Rose Bowl, because it's like this sort of in ground in the local community now, but I think whoever's paying the money to keep it open is entitled to change its name. Now the GS Bowl, I assume, is to do with the sponsor who's going to going to take over yes. the, the Rose Bowl. I think traditionally it's a really nice name. The Rose Bowl was a really nice name for the cricket cricket yes. stadium, and, and the, the name should stay the same, even though that they're going to do a huge amount of uh, redevelopment and make it bigger and, and more exciting. So, in my my opinion, is that they should keep the name the same, but also do all the development. Um, and do you think that everyone will call it the a GS Bowl, or do you reckon no? I think people always call it the Rose Bowl because it's always been the Rose Bowl and therefore people just, just keep the name as, as it is. Yeah. Yes. Wildon School reporting the latest update on Portsmouth Football Club financial problems. After interviewing citizens from the Southern Coast area, a PE teacher states it will be sad for, for a big Southern club to go down. Portsmouth are in serious trouble after getting themselves in debt of £17 million. However, there has been reports of Football League allowing them to carry out the season by funding them £20,000. Portsmouth main rival Southampton, which are currently top of the championship, have an advantage if Portsmouth go under, because West Ham will have the six-point deduction. We hope Portsmouth recover from the debt. And that's it from Wildon School. News. We have some interesting stories for you today. We have a story on the woman in black, but we will be interviewing and finding out more about the film. So let's get started. Over to Abby and Regina, who have a story on the film on the woman in black. Do you think the film Woman in Black should be rated higher than 12? I don't know what's in the film. The stage play had shock effects, but nothing gross or offensive or disturbing. Nothing really worse than popping out and saying BOOM! to somebody. So what do you think of the woman in black? Um, I thought it was really scary um, and I'm not very good with scary films but I I guess if it was a 15 I would have seen it coming but it hasn't said it was a trial I was a bit like I'm scared and I guess I would have been. Yeah, so do you think it should have been a higher rating? Yeah, definitely. Do you find the woman in black? It was really, really dramatic and probably five stars. Do you think it should be rated higher than a 12 though? Yes, no. it, should, it should be a PG because it's jumpy. Yeah, it was quite jumpy. Oh, very interesting. Yes. Have you seen The Woman in Black? Yeah. Did you think it was good? It was really good. Do you think it should be rated more than a 12? I think so because the faces are really scary. Hmm, interesting. Thank you. No problem. What did you think of it? Do you think it should be rated a 12? No. What do you think it should be rated?